So US is full of opportunities, guys. Specifically, when you are a STEM program student, where you don't need to go back immediately after your course. My dual program is basically 30% coursework is done from India, and remaining is from the US universities. This is the dual coursework. So my was mine was done into the IIM Indore. The things went on a very fast track from April when I somehow got collaborated with Futurins. Uh, they made the things very easy for me. Universities don't bifurcate you as an international student or the national student. The campus placements on the career uh, resource management team works really well. They make you uh, look for different different jobs, internships, which whichever you are eligible for. Hello, uh, what's your name and what college are you from? So, my name is Jitendra and uh, I'm here in Rutgers Business School for my Masters into IT and Analytics program. How did you fulfill your dream of studying in the US and what is this dual program that you're doing? Okay, uh, so I'll give you a quick glimpse of it. Uh, my dual program is basically, I do some of the subjects from India and uh, so 30% coursework is done from India and remaining is from the US universities. This is the dual coursework. So my was mine was done into the IIM Indore. The three subjects were done in the IIM Indore. And the remaining coursework I'm doing into the business school here. Uh, so I'm affiliated to Rutgers University where uh, Rutgers University is one of the best for my program into analytics. So that's why I chose it. And I things are pretty good till now. Did you face any roadblocks? Was your visa approval smooth and how has your overall journey of coming here been like? So, I started my preparations and everything over a very long back, but uh, the things went on a very fast track from April when I somehow got collaborated with Futurins. Uh, they made the things very easy for me when I started uh, looking for the courses and all the stuff. Uh, eventually, see uh, how Futurins work exactly is, they will give you the platforms, but you have to act. So if you are not well prepared and if you are not going through, then it becomes a bit difficult for you to access each and everything which you want. But my mind was very smooth. I went through the visa interviews, all the applications, everything went really well. How did you overcome your financial constraints? Uh, so first of all, I the initial the expenses, I somehow managed it with on my own. I was doing my job, I was working before. And then the remaining, the coursework and all those stuff, tuition fees and everything, I secured a loan from the HDFC Credula okay. from India. So Amazing. So, so how has your, like, how would you describe the opportunities available for Indian students in the US? So US is full of opportunities, guys. You cannot think of the opportunities made available here. Market situations vary over the period, but opportunities, yes, you do have a lot. Specifically when you are a STEM program student, where you don't need to go back immediately after your uh, course, once your course is done. So this is something which I say, yeah, it's full of opportunities. You just need to choose the right program you want. You have to be 300% or 400% sure that you have to do that program and you will achieve something proud of it. Amazing. So how have you found it easier or harder to pursue career opportunities in the US as an international student? I just now started my career here, um, though the campus placements and the career uh, resource management team works really well. They make you uh, look for different different jobs, internships, which whichever you are eligible for. Let's say if you are eligible for an internship, they will assist you with the internships here. Uh, there are a lot of opportunities coming up when as compared to the previous year academic years, as I heard from my uh, seniors, the situations were a bit difficult as compared to last year but last year the situation was not up to the mark but uh, this year everybody is anticipating that we will be getting uh, more and more opportunities coming into place and hope for the best uh, so to understand from you do you feel safe and welcomed as an international student in the current climate see uh, you need to understand uh, there are few aspects of people uh, if you are staying into an area where, see, academically you don't have any issues. You will be treated as far as an American student. But when when it comes to the local people, you need to be a little skeptical about the places where you stay. Uh, the place where I stay, it's very close to the campus and it is full of people from international areas, different, different locations. So 
my place is quite happening few places might not be appropriate for staying but rest overall america is a very uh, welcoming country how did the politics shift the impact the way you approach your career and planning in the us see uh, i have been a bit optimist towards this that whenever the political shifts happen uh, there is an impact on the industry but uh, again if you are hard working if you are capable the industry will not let you go so that is the bottom line you need to work hard you you need to prove yourself that you belong here that's it so what industries or fields have you seen most grow uh, in terms of the opportunities for indians i think it would be the sector where uh, majority of our indians are working really well uh, financial sectors are the second most preferable uh, i prefer personally analytics which is a mixture of both your financial or supply chain or whatever you say analytics is somewhere where you can fit in everywhere so that is my again that is my subject which i chose so i believe that majority of indians are into it and supply chain financial sectors but you will find indians everywhere everywhere uh do you think there's enough support for indian students to succeed over here if not what should be changed to make things better over here universities don't Uh, by forget you as an international student or uh, the national student specifically when it comes to your uh, academics your uh, any kind of perks which is there available into the campus the only differences which you will find and which is i think every country will have that certain things are bounded to a national and certain things are limited for an international student so those things even the if any university in the universe can assist you with you need to take care of those things and you need to consider those things as well so let's say for many of the on campus jobs will be limited to national students only so you cannot apply for those jobs and again majority of the stuff like there is always a 80 20 segment where 20% you will not be able to touch mm-hmm. but the 80% area is already for your opportunity so you can work over that amazing amazing thank you so much for your time man thank, thank you. you take care